my beautiful Capricorns, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for this week. And this is going to be a bonus April reading. Um, also, this is intended for sun, moon and rising signs. So if you have any of those on your chart, go ahead and watch this one because it might resonate with you. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can receive notifications every time I upload and give some love to the channel and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, okay? Let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. Okay, guys. Hmm. What do we have in there? Let's see, is this a person dancing in there? And there's a fish head right there, you can see. Uh, it seems like it reminds me of the Jonah story, like somebody actually swallowed by the whale here. The whale can be a challenge. Usually the whales uh, represent something um, massive coming into your life and this is like a something big opportunity maybe someone very helpful showing up and this is in your heart space so this is your heart's desire but maybe you already manifested it or you are on the brink of manifesting this thing the problem here is even though this is something that you're desiring to have you might have like a massive fear that this will actually um have a lot of take a lot of time out of your life it is going to block your uh, the things that other things that you want to do like there is a conflict decision here there's there's a conflict mind okay so um but it seems like there's going to be solution coming forward um the, this is going to be resolving there's going to be like uh, resolutions also happening here so you're going to have an understanding whatever it is holding you back i feel like you're going to eventually let this thing go there is a volcano, a small one. There's a serpent inside of it. Serpent usually indicates an awakening. And the other meaning is like a health matters. So if you're maybe going through any health issues or you want to improve your health, the volcano represents the fire energy, meaning the answers will be coming really fast. Letter E is present. This can be in the first name or the last name of a person, maybe a doctor, someone who actually like, um, has a background to give you information about like how to improve your situation improve your health um, also I see like a letter V as in victory so whatever it is when you follow this there is going to be a victory waiting for you at the end of the path okay there's a male figure he has this weird shaped thing like there's a dog right there okay he's petting the dog or he's like his hand is inside the mouth of the dog Dog indicates a loyalty, a loyal person, okay? But the thing with the dogs are when you actually, uh, you know, get them angry, stick your hand in the mouth of an angry dog, the dog is going to bite. And um, if, if it's not trained. So this is about like maybe there is a situation of ego, like um, like in the in your heart you want to accomplish something but you are maybe self-sabotaging a situation and uh, this can be a male figure also affecting that self-sabotage or maybe even they are you're watching over someone they are doing this to themselves okay and this person is taking a big chunk a big part of your life i see here there is actually a vulture waiting for on top of this person's head uh, vulture is not a negative thing they are the cleaners of the planet they're the cleaners of the earth however when it comes to this circumstance this situation what's happening here is um this can be a person being gaslighted basically somebody is being pushed to the end so the vulture can collect okay so if you're seeing this this kind of a thing in front of your eyes this can be because either you can help or you are actually there's a reflection okay there is something that you can do about your life i see number eight here maybe a financial situation there's an angel waiting for you on top of the eight you're probably intuitively guided being guided to a better situation better structure 
but because the system that you're used to is the dog the, the the loyalty that you have is towards the wrong thing wrong actions you keep repeating that this i give the example of food usually they say like um i read it in in an article i don't know how true is that uh but you know it's a food for thought um this person i think it was a doctor saying it was a long time ago so i don't remember the names but they say the um most of the causes of diseases are related to our feeding patterns and they say it's genetic but the feeding eating eating patterns are genetic so like if your um, grandfather was eating a certain way your mother and father adapts to that and just keep repeating replicating that so it is no um surprise that you have the same kind of genetic illnesses okay uh like when it comes to like, heart disease and hypertension and all those stuff like that and maybe even the stress levels because whatever the stress that they used to they reflected into their families and now it's reflecting into your family and um maybe affecting you so this is like a general thing you don't have to be like coming after me in the comments but um you know food for thought like i said maybe there's a situation that you're self-sabotaging because it is what you learn and even though the good fortune number eight means material satisfaction giving and receiving and creating massive wealth it's even in front of you you're having a hard time to take steps towards it because it's outside of your comfort zone here okay but it seems like here there is a phone line appearing in the middle of this thing here so there's a chunk of money at like you're standing on also I see a monkey here. Monkey indicates communication and being like a very articulate with your thoughts and actions. And the phone lines are forming, meaning either you like it or not, there's going to be like a divine intervention. The call is going to come. You're going to pick up the phone and you're going to do very well. When it comes to monkey as a symbol here, you're going to do great. And I see a male figure here. He's holding someone looking similar like him in, similar, in their hand. This can be you maybe teaching a better a way and there's a heart shape here or maybe somebody's actually going to be um giving you the help that you need in this kind of situation this can be a new job maybe changing your course direction if you have a good idea of a business maybe executing that starting to execute that go after it and the support will be there for you when you follow your intuition i see a massive horse head here and somebody's feeding this horse Horses means wish fulfillment, desire is coming your way. And you feeding this horse indicates that you are going to be feeding your desires, okay? You're going to be taking inspired action towards them. You're going to be um, planning, writing things down, finding the right people and talking to the right situation, like creating this right uh, environment for this beautiful tree to grow for yourself, basically, okay? I see two people hugging here, male and female, which is a great energy. So it means that this can be either your masculine and feminine energies are balancing out. Or this can be symbolizing a couple, okay? If you have a relationship with someone, um, this can be your energy, your relationship maybe balancing out, maybe finding the perfect relationship. And uh, um, male or female doesn't really matter. It's just the... it's it's masculine and feminine it's not the gender it's the energies okay so in order to balance the relationships out two masculine energies will clash two feminine energies will clash as well and when even if you actually think about it if the um if the women i'm going to give a, from example from a classical perspective okay if the women is too masculine she tends to create a feminine man okay the man steps out outside of everything does not does not contribute and just you know does the minimum bare minimum and stuff like that but i feel like this is going to be something perfectly balanced okay it's not going to be um when it comes to your life it's not going to be out of balance you're going to have this perfect balance in your life you can be the masculine you can be the feminine it doesn't matter which side you're on you're going to have a great um you know support to each other you see like the woman is hugging the male figure this kind of reminds me there is this um egyptian stature you can see a male 
um, female the female is actually hugging the men behind you can see her hand is like on the front that's supporting the male figure as well it's not only like male female being passive feminine energy being passive you don't have to be passive you can be all supportive as well but in their own way okay um like without masculine masculinizing yourself i see that there are two different paths opening this balanced energy can be within you as well maybe uh, not only having creative thoughts and ideas also running after and just uh, executing them like creating them in this you know this material world i see two different paths so putting here one person is actually waiting for you at the end of this path they have a table this can be a table of negotiation this can be a table of um creation as well maybe they're like writing some things down like typing some things down and i see there is a person smiling here so and you are being elevated right up here as well so whatever this path at the end of the path you're traveling you're making a deal which is going to be very beneficial for the other person and it will be elevating your lifestyle maybe even putting you in a higher situation here hmm. i see another woman with long hair she has somebody uh far away from her traveling towards her mm, this can be you traveling letter e is again present towards this person looks like a feminine person and i see an owl right next to this woman owl usually symbolizes um high uh intuition so this person can be someone that you're getting advice from like a high intuition very feminine female character uh feminine can be like uh, also fam fe family member it doesn't have to be someone that you don't know maybe you have this grandmother she's highly intuitive you maybe you're traveling to her before making a decision taking this path and there is a bear bear in the case a uh, very um powerful male figure and that is also supporting you when you hit this road okay I see some clouds are hovering around you, like on top of you, and there's an eye watching you over. And there's a face right here. The face looks like a person, but maybe wearing like a mask or something. This can be someone maybe you're trying to communicate. The clouds are hovering above because um, you couldn't get connected with them. I know like this is like impartial, like I couldn't really connect these all together this story is what is what does it have to do with this person maybe when you travel there's a contract you're going to be getting offered and before you getting in signing a contract you're going to get an information from someone you trust highly intuitive person and also the bear can be this can be like a contract in the sense of maybe a material thing that you're going to be planning to buy and that's why you're going to have a bear to check it out bear can be your accountant you are maybe if you have someone who understands the real estate or this can be a job that you're going to be stepping in again asking your accountant is it working there going to worth your time and the money that you're going to be making is going to worth your time and this third person that you're communicating can be actually someone who knows more about these things but uh, maybe they're actually refraining to talk about it this can be someone in the place that you want to work at or maybe knows the details about the place you want to buy whatever the, your plan is okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be i see many many people are actually appearing in your house in your house right there whatever that you're desiring you see like it has like some time and it needs you to maybe even take some action talk to talk to some people the action doesn't have to mean like um running around mindlessly okay can't even be like having a small conversation with someone when you have the conversation with someone the so things are going to start moving really fast here that someone can be a person who's wearing a hat who has a magic wand in his hand magic wand is the magician virgo and gemini energy this person can be a virgo or a gemini um the hat they're wearing can indicate maybe they are government related number eight a visible here material satisfaction again and i see in your heart there is actually a volcano ready to erupt 
but this is a, like a very good and clear volcano it means that this is a good idea that you have just waiting for you to maybe start to execute this um start to just do things about it i see there's another male figure wearing a hat behind it and he has kind of like an x marked here i saw like a cross maybe can be hierophant energy which is a taurus energy or can be someone who's in actually in a legal um or maybe like in a government that uh, you need to be consulting with first but either way the things are actually going to be working out okay uh the volcano can be like i said new fiery energy new fiery thing that you're thinking about taking action towards but it seems like um yeah it, it just you know there is some clarity needed because i see on the volcano there are so many like talks and um opinions maybe people are talking about it you want to uh you know you want to get answers but the answers are not really showing up the all like they're, they're all giving you confusion we have here the knight of cups knight of cups can indicate a new offer coming forward romantic emotional curious and maybe someone who's actually like pondering a lot and uh, this says here falling in love or a uh, proposal the need to balance your emotions and there's an a social invitation coming forth here this social invitation can indicate actually the crowd that you're going to be stepping into okay what's happening here queen of cups uh, she's actually uh, empathetic patient and loving also compassionate and it says here relationships is actually being upgraded to another level trust your instincts and show um, love to yourself and others as well so this might require you to have some sort of like um self-nurturing and self-love initially uh, before you step in so questioning yourself is not the thing here it's about like questioning what you need at this moment and when you actually start to question what, what can help you at this position will uh, the answers will come in a most beautiful possible way we have the six of wands here her face is really strange anyways um this is a victory though it's very good news are on the way and you're gonna have like rewards and um public recognition probably so but initially the point here is you taking care of yourself surrounding yourself with people who loves and supports what you do and um that crowd the, the volcano in your heart can actually symbolize that crowd can be the people who are actually supporting what you do and become the queens of fire queen of fire means use your creative energy and make your moves in silence do not let people know what's your next move but keep moving forward she's confident warm smart and also appreciative it tells you to open your arms and fly and realize recognize your abilities and independence and defend independence and creativity it says here the this doesn't have to mean male or female it is your feminine energy which everybody uh, has it feminine energy indicates your creative side using like creative um thinking here we have the strength with the leo energy archangel ariel is telling you um, you have a very strong inner power avoid um tough judgments be forgiving and have compassion compassion initially towards yourself maybe you're afraid to take action towards your goals even though it seems like it is going to bring massive victory here but when you just refrain from taking goals towards your desires you might actually end up uh, being in a very challenging positions and situations and even if you do end up there forgive yourself and keep moving because that's the lesson learned okay what else we have ace of uh airs which is ace of swords here new bright ideas and inspiration coming for you and you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation you might have a tough start initially in the things that you do but it doesn't really it seems like here a tough start can be like not in the tough that you're not going to be making it happen it's going to happen but it might require you to have some fire and put some time into it 
We have Page of Cups coming forth, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. And this is a new person coming into your life and maybe carrying a relationship to another level. And your high intuition will be very highly intuitive. You're going to be highly intuitive at this time. Also, another thing is support might be coming in in the most unexpected ways. Okay, this can be someone we have a lot of fire energy. Fire in the case Aries Leo Sagittarius here with the Queen of Fires here. Water, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, and we have almost like the we, we're missing the King of Cups here. So you're gonna have a lot of emotional support here, as much as we can see, and you're gonna have like um, in a very you know good position. You're gonna feel very good. Financial constraints might show up. Okay, so it's not a bad thing this can actually number 13 is the letting go card the death card so financial constraints actually can change the the way you think because death card is actually about the death of establishment this is not a bad thing this can be actually uh, like um seen as when you have the financial constraints we have the journey coming for you here and the third chakra, Archangel Shamael, which is the yellow chakra where your solar plexus is, where your creative energy bursts out, your fun and enjoyment. So this can give you the opportunity to think in a creative way and try to maybe manifest the money instead of uh, you going out there and making it or maybe manifest resources rather than money, okay? So resources can be on the long run, and uh, very valuable for you okay let's see what your spirit animal is actually telling you at this time we had a crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is this is actually connected to that as well maybe you're thinking that you can actually manifest things in a certain course and direction but it seems like here and when you have an expensive, expansive, expanding your vision and you see in a different perspective, in a creative way, you can actually create all the resources in your life that is required at this moment. Okay. All right. Now, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.